A growing threat to Oklahoma livestock is keeping ranchers up at night. Yeah, they're vultures, a new species to Oklahoma that ranchers say are killing and attacking newborn livestock. News 9's Tess Monty looks at what's being done to protect the most vulnerable animals. It's fall calving season in Oklahoma. Come on! So Cassie Weedle spends her days driving from pasture to pasture, <laughs> making sure all the new babies and their mamas are safe. It's just so rewarding. You treat these animals with respect. You feed them, you take care of them. She runs her family's cattle operation in rural McIntosh County. She loves it, but... <laughs> It can be stressful. And there's a new stress for cattle ranchers in Oklahoma. A predator they say is worse than a coyote. <coughs> One that can be seen circling cattle fields, waiting for the perfect time to strike. They're killing our animals. Black vultures have killed at least three of Cassie's newborn calves in the past two years, up to a $2,700 loss. It's terrible. It makes you feel like like you can't, you didn't take care of them the way you're supposed to, but there's literally nothing that you can do. The birds have migrated to the U.S. from South America. They've really made their presence known in Oklahoma over the past 20 years. Right now, they're mostly in the eastern part of the state, and they've been killing newborn livestock. A lot of people, when they'd find a dead calf in vultures, they think something else happened to that calf not realizing that the vultures may have actually done it themselves. Scott Alls is the U.S. Department of Agriculture Wildlife Services Director for Oklahoma. He's been trapping and studying black vultures with the USDA for 15 years. The black vulture has a black head, uh, shorter wings, got kind of a white patch on top of their wings. He says black vultures are different than the common red-headed turkey vultures Oklahomans are used to seeing, not just in the way they look, but the way they eat. Turkey vultures feed on dead animals, and that helps keep disease from spreading. Black vultures do that too, but they also prey on living livestock, like newborn calves and other hooved animals. The vultures I see as the biggest obstacle in the rancher's way right now. Doyle Burden has been running the Rock and D Ranch in Walika for 35 years. I like uh, taking care of the cattle. Uh, I like seeing the calves born. <laughs> Poor thing. I just. It's the only thing I've ever done, but we'll see how close we can get. Black vultures are a new problem there, but they've already cost him thousands of dollars by eating his calves alive. They'll peck the rear end out of a cow while she's having the calf. She'll, they'll peck the calf's eyes out while it's being born. They're, they're that vicious. We're told black vultures will also work together to attack a newborn calf, knowing the mama will protect it and end up stomping it to death in the process. Because black vultures are protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, it's always been illegal to kill them. But now the USDA will issue depredation permits to ranchers, allowing them to protect their herd by taking up to five black vultures a year. It's a start, but ranchers say it is not enough. Yeah, five won't do you any good. Right now, researchers don't know why the birds migrated here or how many there are, but say the black vultures will likely spread out across the state. And that will lead to even bigger problems because black vultures are known for tearing things up, even in bigger cities. Well, they'll get on a cell phone tower and start picking at wires. They'll roost on houses and they'll pull the shingles off the roof. Boat seats, tractor seats, foam mats on patios. They're, they're just so destructive. The USDA is in the middle of a research project right now to learn more about black vultures, which could eventually bring cattle ranchers a little relief. So once we get that info, we can hand that over to the Fish and Wildlife Service, and that will help them make decisions on how best to manage them. Until then, <laughs> more long days and sleepless nights for cattle ranchers. My wife and I we take turns getting up in the night to go check our cattle. So how many uh, cattle do you have? 125. Who have made have it their, their babies, life's so, work you know. to protect their herds. Tess Monty, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.